a little strong. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be watching The House of the Dragon, episode six. Now, in the last episode, Damon killed his wife in the very beginning of it. Now, and then later in the episode, when that one dude who was Damon's wife's cousin, he okay, he basically pressed Damon about it, and he was like, "Why did you do it?" Like, I know it. He's like, "Look, motherfucker, I know what you did, and you can't get away with this." Damon's like, "Boy, you ain't finna do shit." Anyway, but then Damon's like, <clears throat> "Since I didn't have an heir, she didn't have an heir, and she died." Her inheritance goes to me now. So Damon is to inherit all of Runestone or Ringstone or Runestone. Pretty sure, like, I'm pretty sure it's Runestone, but okay, whatever. Anyway, Damon's just always out here making moves, bro. Gotta respect it. Gotta respect it. And then, okay, in the last episode, I said something like, oh, we can never have a good wedding in Game of Thrones. And then I was like, wait, actually, Joffrey and Marge had a pretty good wedding, you know? They had a great wedding, and someone commented like, bro, what do you mean they had a good wedding? What the fuck do you mean? And I was like, oh yeah, Joffrey and Marge's went decent. Joffrey, Joffrey got waxed. That's a, that's a great wedding. That's a great wedding. So then I said it, right? That was, that's how I, that's how I came to the conclusion that it was a great wedding. So, but Alice, but Rhaenyra got married to Sir Lenor, and it was a fucking shit show. It just... It was it was going well and then it just it went horribly, you know. I feel I I feel so bad for Viserys. He's just trying to have a good time. Like nothing for him goes well. Like the tournament didn't go well. His wife fucking died. The hunting trip that didn't really go too well. And then now this. He just wanted to have a good wedding and it just it didn't go well. And then so at the end of it, he was kind of just like, you know, fuck it. We're just, we're still gonna do this. We're just gonna make it quick. Once everyone left, they had just a little tiny ceremony for it, you know, just to get it official. <sighs> so they joined houses now. Okay. It was a pain in the ass, but they did it. And then when Otto was leaving, he had a little talk with Allison. He was like, look, she will put Aegon to the sword to secure her claim. And then when she walked into the wedding room, she made a fashion statement by wearing her dress. And these two guys said that that's what the high towers colors are when they go to war. That's what their beacons are. It's green. And her dress was green. You know, she's making a fashion statement. It was a great entrance. And it was basically just like a subtlety to Rhaenyra being like, hey, okay, I'm gonna do what's best for me. You know, I'm gonna do what's best for me and Aegon. Also, I did read a comment saying that this episode does take a pretty big time jump. So yeah, I'm gonna expect a pretty big time jump here. So I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon. I'll early access to the next. There is no next. Um, Early access to Game of Thrones will be available on Patreon because we haven't finished that yet and shit's heating up in season six. Holy fuck. I I can't wait for the finale of season six. So anyway, let's get started. The queen has requested that the child be brought to her immediately. Oh shit. Queen wants to see the child. I guess Rhaenyra gave birth. There's Alicent. There's no need. Damn, Allison almost looks the exact same. This actor and the last actor look so much alike. What happy news this morning. <gasps> Indeed, your grace. <sighs> oh, this one's gonna die any second. Oh my god. A fine prince. Bro, how old is he? You will make a fearsome knight. Okay, he's just gonna be a knight, okay. Do we have a name yet? We haven't spoken. Joffrey. Joff He'll be called Joffrey. Okay, okay. I see why he picked that name. That was the name of his lover that Sir Christian Cole killed, I think. It's gonna say Joffrey. Nobody should ever be named Joffrey after Game of Thrones. But he chose it for a good reason, actually, so. <laughs> Game of Thrones hasn't even happened yet, so. I do hope the labor was easy. No, bro, no. I called the midwife a cunt. <laughs> oh. It happens. Sooner or later, you may get what it looks like you. Okay, bitch. Think to consult me before you name my child. Mm. He's our child, is he not? We still gotta talk about it. Mother. Look. Oh, damn, she has. Wait, she has two other fucking kids? I called her mother. Of course. Father, please may I call Joffrey? No. Fuck no. Okay, how old are they supposed to be now? 
because I'm going to guess like maybe 29, 30s, early 30s, late 20s. Bro, is she having, is she fucking him? Why is he looking at her like that? I mean, with that comment Allison made, that, that could make sense, I guess. I want to see Damon. I want to see how older he looks. Mm. What, does he have to tame the dragon or something? Because it's supposed to be his? Ah, uh, RIP this goat. You must hold mastery over your dragon, my I, mm -hmm, yeah. God spares of me. As Prince Aegon has with Sunfire. Oh, that's Aegon? Damn. <laughs> RIP a goat. RIP Aaron Rodgers. Aemon, we have a surprise for you. You're the only one of us without the dragon. Indeed. Is that another child of the series in Allison, I'm guessing? Oh, that's fucked up, dude. They're just fuck off. <laughs> All right, Aegon's a dick. Bro, look at her. She's gonna kill everyone. She's gonna kill all of her family. She's gonna become the most powerful one because she's just treated like this, you know? It's gonna be her mission to become more powerful than anyone else in her family. All right, be careful down there. Don't die. Mm. Oh, she's getting, oh, she's dipping. All right. She had to see, I guess. And two pairs of legs on each. That's 240. Bro, fuck out of here with that. What have you done? He did it again. After how? Oh, that's a that's a boy? Oh, I thought that was a girl. Fuck. <laughs> My be. You will have a dragon one day. Yeah. Okay, I'm guessing she's also daughter of Allison. So, damn, Renera has three kids. She has three kids. Damn. Keep these kid keep all six of these kids as far away as you can from Damon. To speak of it, so I held my tongue. Mm. To have one child like that is a mistake. To have three is an insult. To Damn. the throne to you, battled so hard to make for her. Not to mention decency. Damn. I had a black mare once. Black like a raven. One day <laughs> her face. It's not an actual response to what she just said. The consequences of an allegation like the one you two had yeah. would be dire. Do not speak of this again. Britons, without shame, she expects everyone in the Red Keep to deny the truth our eyes can all plainly see. Mm -hmm. And the king, her father. He knows. Of course he knows. Or did once, but has convinced himself otherwise. He'll do naught but make excuses for her. What, that she's cheating? I'm pretty sure the accusation that they're claiming is that she's fucking someone else. She's fucking that other guy. And all the kids aren't actually Serlena's. And to each other. Bro, Damon. Is this Damon, bro? No, it's fucking Aegon. Okay, I was about to say, he's not jacked enough to be Damon. But, bro, what are you doing? Oh my god, and he got caught by his. Fucking mom. Oh my god. I'd kill myself. Benu will ascend the throne and Jocera's Targaryen would be her heir. Mm-hmm. So? Oh, you are nearly a man grown. How is it that you can be so short-sighted? Yeah, you can't see the bigger picture. Like me. She can move to cut off any challenge to her succession. Mm-hmm. Just like Otto told her. The challenge! You are the challenge, Egon. Oh. Simply by living and breathing! Damn. Alright, Aegon is not ready for this. Is that one day you will be our king? Hmm. Get dressed. Yeah, she's trying to talk some fucking sense in him, but bro, he is not ready at all. Like, not, not any chance. I, I feel like he doesn't even care about it. You know, if he did become king, I feel like he wouldn't give a fuck. 
Oh, this is Damon. Yep. That was cool. That was pretty cool. I would not count myself so deserving, my Lady Lena. <laughs> offer you a permanent residence here in Pentos. Oh, shit. Okay, did Damon marry Lady Lena and have kids with her? Sounds like it. Looks like it, too. Oh, Family nice. has dragons. Three now. Mayhaps four in the yep. future. We've already extended our visit here. Hmm. We are without responsibility, the political scheming, the endless shifting of loyalties and success. Wow, sounds fucking nice. Dire dragon rider's death. Not that of some fat country lord. True. <laughs> what are you saying? Okay, bro. Uh, you have a new opponent then, my lord of this draw. Let's see if you can touch me. Hmm. Yeah, let's see what you got. Sir Christian's gonna wax him. Yep, he's not even trying, dude. <laughs> so whack them. Seems the younger boys could do better mm. with a bit of your attention. Yeah, there's there's tension between them. Of instructions, sir. Yep. Tresheris. Who spar with egg on? Oh shit. Hardly a fair match. I know you've never seen true battle, sir, but when steel is drawn, a fair match isn't something anyone should expect. Yeah, true. Okay, Aegon. Bro, chill. He's like a fucking nine year old boy, and you're like fucking 16, 17. You! She's. Oh, they're pissed. Use your feet! Oh. Don't let him get up. Oh. Enough! Damn. Damn. They're gone! You forget yourself, Strong. That is the prince. Yeah. Cruelty. The weaker. It's tough love. He has to learn. I get bullied every day in Jiu Jitsu, bro. <laughs> I get waxed every day. I gotta learn. It's the same thing. And would only have that kind of devotion toward a cousin. Mm hmm. Or a brother. Or a son. Mm hmm. Yep. Those are his kids, huh? Ah, oh, nice no, being the shit out of fucking Sir Chris. Sir, it's a good! Sir, it's a good! The one is a match. Yeah. The son of a steward. He is a knight of the King's Guard now. Sail through. A defender of future heir to the throne. Oh, oh. That was heated. Lead us open to accusations of an uglier treachery. Yep. What is an offense that would mean exile and death? Yep. For you, for her, for the children. Yep. Bro, okay, not gonna lie, the fact that you got so mad at Sir Kristen Cole for saying that and got so defensive kind of proves it right and everyone saw, so that's why he's tweaking on him right now. And yet today, you publicly assaulted a knight of the king's heart in the, in the defense of your... Pride? <laughs> My dear wife. Oh, he's faded. <laughs> I fell down. <laughs> War. <laughs> Which again in the stepstones, Rhaenyra. <laughs> and a warrior. And I have played my part for Mm-hmm. For ten years. Damn, it's been ten years. This was our agreement. I have not begrudged you. You do not desert your post when the storm lashes. It's true, you can't, you can't dip. To remain in King's Landing and at my side. You know, I kind of I kind of get Sir Leonor's side on it. He's not the actual father of any of the kids, so he doesn't feel like, why the fuck, he's kind of, I feel like he's kind of just like, why the fuck should I stay, you know, if I'm not even the father of them? But they did make an agreement. And like, they ha he, like she said, he can't abandon post. Whatever, because they have to keep this public persona of that. Yeah, no, the children are theirs and everything and stuff like that. And like she said, the rumors are at their, are nipping at their feet or whatever. 
<sighs> Sir Lana just wants to have a good time, you know? He just wants to vibe, that's all. But it would be very irresponsible of him to leave. And like Lionel said, like Sir Lionel said in the last scene, if they found out the truth, everyone would die. So he kind of has to stay. So nothing gets, all these accusations don't get worse than they are already. Does your brother mention if this one also bears a marked but entirely coincidental resemblance to the commander of the city watch? <laughs> he seems to have left that detail out. Yeah, even they know. Everyone knows. If you did, you would venture into the city, but instead you spend your time here, mm -hmm. in the library, reading accounts of the same... Yeah, what do you... What, what do you really want, bro? Like, why... What are your true intentions? You do mm -hmm. not sleep. Well, how can I, with you haunting my every move? A man I married was more than this. She's really good. I really like her. I really hope Damon doesn't fucking kill her. Like, she's too good for him. He does not deserve her. Dispute bears looking into. There will be country folk who know where the lines have been drawn for generations. That is easy enough. Of course. Mm, of course. Allison's like, of course she had to make that comment. They hate each other now, bro. They hate each other. I don't see reason. <laughs> <laughs> to trust a martel is to be disappointed. That was a decade ago, and he has since left the region undefended. <laughs> we have. Oh, God damn it, David. Damon. Watchtowers, a fleet of ships, a garrison of soldiers sent to hold our ground. We cannot afford it. <laughs> I will cough. Yeah, they're gonna have... They're gonna have this passive-aggressive fucking feud right here. This little passive-aggressive argument. But we have been lax, and the old monster now lifts its head. Bitch, the fuck? Strife between our families of late, my queen. Mm. And for any offense given by mine, I apologize. Oh, apology. And long before that, we were friends. Yep. Were. Ally ourselves. Once and for all. Okay. Let them rule together. A most judicious proposition. Yeah. Great deal. Se seems fair. Well, Alicent wants Aemon on the throne, so it's like, ah. Right. The king and I thank you for your offer, and we will consider it duly. You must rest now, husband. I mean, I feel like it's a good deal, but it's Alicent's going to reject it because it's not what she truly wants, so. The fox speaks when it's being cornered by the hound. She is oh, sincere. She is desperate. Yep. The proposal is a good one, my queen. Yeah. When I am cold in my grave. Damn. Alan. I mean, it makes sense if she didn't want Aegon to be on the throne one day. I feel like... I hope that makes sense. The king is resting. I will see him. Damn. What might this errand be about, Lord Lionel? This news is going to be awful. Your grace, I feel it. I have come to resign my position as hand of the king. Ah. Uh, but he's been expelled from the city watch. That seems punishment enough. Forgive me, your mm -hmm. grace, it is not. Yeah, because he knows what's really happening. Viserys doesn't want to believe Alicent on the accusations. He's trying to get the fuck out of here before they kill him. Mm -hmm. Before they find out the actual truth, and then shit just goes down. He's trying to get out of here fast. You must have your reasoning in plain language. Yeah. <laughs> Alison wants to hear it. I do. You will continue in your service to the crown. Oh, okay. I would then ask leave to take my son from court and escort him back to the family seat at Harrenhal. Yeah, let me get my son the fuck out of here. Cause... God damn it. Yeah, Alison, she knows, bro. She knows why he's, he wanted to resign and why he wants his son out of there. How her accusations kind of follow up with what he just did. It's like, ah... Oh yeah, she's pissed. Yeah, she's she's pissed. Why are you smiling? Then he fell short of confessing my brother's transgressions. With his eruption in the yard, your brother all but confessed the truth himself. Yeah. It's a willful blindness. Yep, he chooses to be blind to it. In this matter. No, but he would be partial to me. Damn. Adira? 
Uh, deviant. A traitor to the crown. Mm. Rhymes, you've been sentenced to death by hanging. Damn. I am prepared to offer you mercy. Mm. I to pay a little price. <laughs> Oh, take his tongue out. And cut his tongue off. Mm. Ah. 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 Bro, this isn't a little price. Okay. Ah. That is not a little price, bro. It got me fucked up. And they cut their tongues off because they can't see anything then? Child will not come. Ah. Uh, no, we can have this. We can have the same situation in in episode one here. But I cannot say for a surety whether it lives or the mother survived it. Ah. Uh, what, what is she doing? She wants to die the dragon death, like she said earlier. Yeah, that's to get him to breathe fire. But it won't. Is it gonna do it against her? Like, that's. But I got it. Like, that. No, she's the dragon's master. Like, no. I don't think the dragon's gonna do it. Oh, oh. RIP. We will exchange letters by Raven. Won't that be fun? It's hard and strong, my father. Mm-hmm. Am I a bastard? You are a Targaryen. I take it he's gone. We're finished here. We're leaving. Oh, what? The dragon's done there. We should have left years ago. All right, we're going to the Dragonstone. Just because Allison didn't accept her offer and stuff. She feels embarrassed. The wise sailor flees the storms it gathers. Mm. Bring him. We'll need every sword we can muster. All right. Lane is in then. And it's kind of sad because you had to leave him behind. But he's like, all right, bet. Hopefully this guy doesn't fucking die, though. <laughs> Damn, we're near out. Wants to be with him so fucking bad. I mean, they're going to Heron Hall. Rhaenyra's going to Dragonstone. I'm assuming they're close by each other. So. They can see each other and not have to worry about anything. What, are they going to go kill him or whatever? Oh, no. No. Let his room on fire. No! Oh no! Fuck, R.I.P. Of its victory. Aww. Is that the ring he shared with his wife in episode one? But for them, you surrender what you should not. Dude, that's either Craig Jones or Otto. <laughs> Bro, that's Craig Jones. The dead. You've heard the stories of Harren Hall, your grace. Yep. Had them killed. Last place, and it passes judgment on all who pass beneath its. The queen makes a wish. I grant the wish. Yep. Paris, I did not. I mean, you kind of applied it. <laughs> I feel certain you will reward me when the time is right. Hmm. Nice. You want to be the hand or something? Damn, Allison kind of feels like shit about it. Because, like, I guess she didn't really want... She didn't want them to fucking die. But, like... Damn, I guess he went a little too far. <laughs> Alright, well, that was episode 6 of House of the Dragon. Alright, pretty good... Pretty fire episode. It's a little bit of a trip to see them all older now. But, I like it. I think I like it. 
all right so that was house of the dragon episode six now there's a little bit of some drama going on you know so Rhaenyra's fucking someone else everybody knows it everyone knows it Alicent knows it and she's try she tried to convince Viserys like she tried to tell him be like bro this is insulting to us like how are you gonna let this happen but He's choosing to be blind to it. She would never blah, blah, like to even make an accusation is death or whatever, right? But everyone knows what's happening. Viserys is the only one that chooses to not believe it, you know? He just wants everything to be good. He just wants everything to be peace. He doesn't want this drama. <laughs> I feel so bad for it. Okay, so, and it's been 10 years since the last episode, so... Oh, okay, a lot happened. Renera has three kids. Allison has three kids. These are, like, these kids are the future, you know? And they were sparring, you know? Sir Kristen Cole is teaching them how to fight. You know, and that one... I didn't catch his name. Doesn't matter because he's dead now. The dude that Renera was fucking... He was just paying attention, like, how Sir Kristen Cole was training them, you know? And, like, Sir Kristen Cole was basically like, Oh, like, how come you're you know taking so how come you're observing this so much like why are you so invested in like how these kids learn how to fight you know you know he was like no one usually would have this much interest in it unless you know they were your cousin or your brother or maybe your son because you know everyone knows and you know so Kristen cole he he said that to get a reaction out of him because he knew he'd get pissed and like and start fighting him right and like that just proved this point like you know and it happened right in front of her series and Viserys is like, ah, it's just grown man beef. It's just men, you know. That was also the hand Lionel's son, right? And so then later on in the episode, Lionel was like, look, he was talking to him about it. And he was like, look, bro, like if we get caught, we're dead. All our kids are dead. Like we're, we, we got to get the fuck out of here. All right. So then he resigns as the hand of the king. Viserys rejected his re resignation. Then they ended up going to Harrenhal anyway. And then Alicent was telling, uh, she was telling Lars about it all, about how the dude Renair is fucking in the and Lionel. They went to uh, Heron Hall, and so you know, and then she was talking about her dad Otto and stuff like that. So then you know what he did? He went and fucking killed his dad and his fucking brother for Allison. All right, this fool is just this fool is insane, dude. Like who the fuck does that? But all right, all right, whatever. So now it doesn't even matter. Like the dude Renair was fucking dead. I don't. She doesn't know it yet, but he's dead. And then Renair grabbed uh sir lena they went to fucking dragonstone because they're just they're sick of all this politics here bullshit too you know i think she she wanted to stay because of viserys but then she was like you know what fuck all this i'm out of here i don't give a fuck anymore we're leaving i feel like she she kind of felt pushed out by allison so and then damon and his wife they're just chilling in the middle of nowhere damon said he likes it here because there's no politics none of this beef bullshit it was draining him apparently even though that like i feel like he's the one who kind of started most of it when he was in king's landing but okay anyway he wants to stay here and just live a peaceful life you know a luxurious life because he can you know he wants to retire early but his wife was like no i i have way more to do with my life like no we can't stay here this isn't for us like this isn't for me this isn't for my kids and everything but then she was given birth later in the episode and Damon was pretty much in the same situation as Viserys was in episode one. You know, she wasn't going to make it, I guess. And she wanted to die a dragon rider's death. So she had her dragon kill her. It's like, damn. And Allison, she, you know, she desperately wants Aegon to be the new king one day. You know, when she caught him fucking jerking off on the balcony. She was, That's when she was like, she slapped him and she tried to give him a wake up call. But I feel like this fool doesn't really want it. I feel like he doesn't give a fuck. He's too young to understand. He's too, like, he, yeah, he's too young and too immature to understand what's going on. Hopefully, some more time passes, and I guess he under, he'll, like, get older, and then he'll really start to care about it later on. Wait, but, dude, that actor looks so fucking, the dude who plays Aegon looks so fucking familiar. I, I can't figure out who it is. I can't fucking put my finger on it. Oh, okay, I have no idea who this is, so, okay. But that was House of the Dragon episode six. Comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, I like the video. And thanks for watching.